And we are starting off the trip. We have so much going in the truck right now. Augie's second bike. My second bike. Wait, whoa, whoa, Panza has another bike too. What the hell, man? All this commotion and packing up and everything. We are heading to Woodward Camp for the weekend with Merritt. We have a very exciting weekend with a bunch of different things on our agenda. First off, the first challenge of the weekend is trying to fit all these damn bikes in the car. Because I don't think we thought this through very well. We didn't think it through. Payton didn't think it through. Well, you guys have six bikes with you. We just stopped at the fire bagel spot. We got sausage, egg, and cheese. What do you got? Nothing left. Well, the best part is we got Augie right there pumping gas for us as we're eating the bagels. About an hour into our journey, we are stuck on the Cross Bronx Expressway. <laughs> oh, it's windy. So, Augie has the drone in the air right now and he's looking at it, and it does not look good for us. Not looking too fing hot. Dude, and it's going so far. Oh my god, we're gonna be Let's stuck see. in traffic for like two hours, three hours. Oh my god. Dude. It's gnarly, man. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Never make it We're not making it to Woodward. Turn the ship around, dude. <laughs> That's how you do it, boys. What do we got going on over here? New bikes being built. Man is going shopping. Look at the tripod game. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> Director Pens. The setup, dude. Longest pegs in BMX right here? Yeah, buddy. 4.75 inch pegs, brand new merit. We're here in the office of Montana Ricky. If you need lights, if you want your shop to carry lights, you hit up this man right here. Montana right. Ricky, let me see, hold on, let me do it. My phone number is 973-883-0621. That's the Merit Warehouse. That ain't my personal phone number because my personal phone number sucks. <laughs> anyway, give that a call. I'll hook you guys up. The price is on them, immaculate. And trust me, the best part about having these FTL lights is you don't have to get tickets no more. I just got a $350 ticket for Ooh. not having any lights in Newark. <laughs> now, so everybody run them. They're affordable, they're amazing, they're, what is it? Water resistant. Oh up, my Ricky, God, so and get the goods. He's got you covered. Tell <laughs> your bike shop you want to carry the FTL bike lights and hit up my man, Ricky. We, do it, we gotta do an explanation to let people know. We have made it to Woodward. Uh, we have three days here. And Billy and Pans and I went out yesterday. We were bowling and we were coming up with ideas that we should do something, you know, something crazy this week. A little bit different. At Woodward. Because we come here, we shred. We don't really do something that gets us all interacting together. We always do our same videos that are gonna be like, you know, Billy's videos for his channel, Pans' videos for his channel, video for my channel. Something totally different is what we have come up with. So now. We have a King of the Road inspired set of... Heavily King of the Road inspired um, set of challenges here. A hundred challenges. We're going to call it King of Woodward. King of Woodward. So every challenge that we complete, you get one point. One point. So like each challenge, so there's a hundred challenges. 
Uh, each of those challenges, we were trying to think about it being like a point system, uh, but each challenge is just going to be one point. No for matter each how, no crazy, matter how it crazy it is, no matter what you do, it's just how many challenges you can complete. Four solid rules. What are the rules? <laughs> you must film every challenge. You may bring in one guest for only one challenge. One challenge. One guest, one challenge. It's like it's like bringing in a special guest if you don't want to do something and you want to get this, you know, it's a submission. It's, yeah, it's like one person comes in for you to kind of like it's a it's a substitute. So maybe one guest in for the challenge. And no no help. No help besides that one guest. So, so no, yeah. nobody can help you film it. Nobody. Someone can help you film it. Okay. So that's number three though. No help like with like the one wheeled manual, anything like that. You have to do that on oh. your own. And the video must be out every single day. So tonight is when we're going to start this uh, this challenge. I mean, it's about so 7 p.m. First video will be up tomorrow, Saturday. Yeah, tomorrow's it'll be up Saturday, and then Saturday's video will be up Sunday, and then Sunday's video will be up Monday as like a final. Um, the loser. What does the loser have to do? Well, what we were thinking was the loser would have to jump in the lake. But, but it's so cold. Yeah, it's, I think it's frozen. You'll be you'll but, probably die. But but we have two days left here. You guys' comments can help us kind of like figure it out too. So like, let let us know if you think what the two losers and then what the winner should get. So I feel like the two losers should buy the winner dinner. You know, yeah. something like that. Like yeah, okay. A, and then the Maybe. two losers have to do something really shitty, like really like not savage. Stuff, savage. savage. Like it's like you, you don't want to do it, but you have to do it. So we need your help on that. What should the two losers have to do at the end of King of Woodward Challenge? Front flip and land it is one. Okay. Um, do a weird one. Uh, Let's see. And out of the ordinary. Shotgun a beer with Slim Jim. Slim Jim. Slotgun, now you guys don't understand what Slim Jim is right now, but we have to shotgun a beer with Slim Jim. Uh, <laughs> you have to find out in, in the coming of uh, next couple of days. Oh, it's going to Dave Mir, Freestyle, Freestyle BMX. BMX. Make sure you get familiar with that because right. we're going to find the Slim Jim man. Stay tuned. So we're doing it. This is gonna get. We're starting it now. Right now, it's about 7, 10 p.m. and we probably have about three, three hours, three, four hours to get these challenges done. We gotta get some pins. We're gonna get right into it. Yeah. All so, right. Boom. <laughs> Sounds good, boys. Let's get it. Three challenges down, about 97 more to go. I think we got this. You have a hundred? We're currently going for the blindfold grind challenge, and I chose the easiest obstacle. Oh God. <laughs> Got the approval? Got the approval? And we got the approval from the man himself. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We're gonna do the Chris Kyle inspired line. I mean, obviously it's not gonna be executed very well, but it's gonna be a little over exaggerated. <laughs> Almost. Chris Kyling is not easy, but I'm cutting that line off at the uh, foot jam whip. 
The slider down the wall is just a tribute that I didn't land. Way harder than it looks. Shout out Chris Kyle. <laughs> That's another one. Chris Kyle line. Challenges to do a trick on another person's bike. So I got Dustin, AKA Dustin, not Justin's bike. I'm gonna do a one-footed nose manual across the bank to bank and a bar manual. Keep it simple. Shout out to Dustin, the man, let me use his bike. Another one off the, the list. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Attempt to do the tandem bike jump, two people on the bike at the same time, over the hip right here. Day is a crazy. Oh my, oh god. my god. Crazy bastard. Oh my god. Oh. Cheers, bitches! We have cancer!